Free Epstein files are out. And we're back, Mike Cernovich, Cernovich.com. Sorry, my hair is a mess. I'm, um, you know, doing a bit of digging, a little bit of reading the files. I've gotten through 90% of the files at this point. Um, all the big ones, I think, um, just been speed reading, you know, all day and some highlights. Um, definitely just prominent names are just go on my Twitter account, go to Cernovich.com forward slash Epstein. And you can see that, but um, something very prominent I want to show you, okay? Let me show you this. So this is a, an email from one of Epstein's victims to the FBI. Hi, Christina. I was wondering if you remember the Sydney consulate. I'm in a victim from the Jeffrey Epstein case. Um, so she, you know, the, these victims reached out to the FBI. The FBI uh, blew them off. That's just um, reality. So they, they reached out to multiple people in the FBI, and the FBI refused to take any action, refused to hand over any evidence, refused to do um, anything. So yay, FBI. Um, yay, FBI. Uh, led again. That's for sure. Uh, Bill Clinton is identified by name in the, um, in the Epstein files. So that's going to be um, – that's going to be an interesting one, you know, so – here, we'll just show you a little snippet of this. So when you say you asked him, why is Bill Clinton here? Where was here? On the island. When, when you were present with Jeffrey Epstein and Bill Clinton on the island, who else was there? Ghislaine, Jelaine, Emmy, and there were two young girls that I could identify. I never really knew who the other ones were. So Bill Clinton, um, he's implicated by name. It's going to be interesting. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what the media um, does with that. He, he's just on the island, implicated by name. And, I mean, that's really that. Um, I don't know. Just as far as, like, that goes, he's just implicated. There's not really, um, really a way to spin it. And it'll be really, really interesting to, to see the names. A number of, uh, number of prominent people um, were named, too. I, I tweeted their names out. But what really, you know, what really um, sticks with me is how the FBI – just refused to to do anything you know they just uh they just didn't do anything um that right that's what that's what they do they protect uh they protect each other they they protect i don't know who are they protecting that's that's on you guys to try to figure out by the way you can read the document cernrich.com forward slash epstein there's still honestly uh more questions and answers so the the big the the big enchilada in all of this is the uh, the deposition, um, Virginia Gufri's deposition, and there's just redaction after redaction in this thing. I mean, I don't I don't really get it. So here I'll, I'll just pull up an image for you real quick, quick, show you what it looks like. So they go, okay, please name that person that Jelaine Maxwell directed you to have sex with. Redacted. Okay, so there's a bunch of redactions remaining in this file. I don't really understand why that is, but there's there's a bunch of um, there's a bunch of redactions. See all this? These are all names. So blank is another one. Jelaine Maxwell directed you to have sex with blank. Object to the form. All right. When did Jelaine Maxwell direct you to go have sex with blank? What words did Jelaine Maxwell use in talking to you and asking you to go have sex with blank? So. I don't know why. Um, well, okay. Well, I was asking about blank. Okay. So I don't know why there's still these redactions and these uh, redactions are done all throughout, um, all throughout the, now some people are saying that there's a, an unredacted copy that there was a, an error or something like that, but uh, I don't, I haven't been able to confirm that yet. And that's, that's that. So where did I find it? I mean, come on, try to keep up. The, I've been litigating this case, you know, I was the one who got the ball rolling on this, just objectively true. And, you know, I noticed I'm following a lot of lefty accounts and I'm not seeing them mentioning the Bill Clinton thing, which is, um, which is interesting. You know, it's, it's always interesting how people, um, like I'll mention Alan Dershowitz was identified in the documents. Why? Because he's identified the documents. It's not really a, um, it's not really a thing, you know, just if you're identified, you're identified. And 
I uploaded the full deposition to Cernovich.com forward slash Epstein. And the Clinton stuff, um, you know, a little peculiar, to be honest. I don't, I don't know how, um, I don't know how you hide that. Uh, I don't know how to hide that from people. By the way, a lot of people wondering how you can help out. You can go to PayPal.me forward slash Cernovich. PayPal.me forward slash C E R N O V I C H. Uh, there's apparently a lot of people who don't know that I was the one who initially filed this lawsuit because of the fucking smears against me. And that's just the way my life is. But to their credit, the Miami Herald and Julie Brown have accurately reported on my involvement with the case. So what happened is I, I filed to get records uh, lost, then went on appeal. Then the Miami Herald filed a lawsuit, joined mine and has been all the way honest. Um, all you want to DM me that pay spend link. So yeah, DM me that pastebin link and then I'll check it out and see if the if the redactions are really out of that. So yeah, we got it's not about taking credit, by the way. It's just about it's just about a lot of people talk about a lot of things, you know, and not a lot of people take action. So when I'm hard on people, uh, it's not like I don't walk my talk, right? When I'm telling people do something, make something happen, it's not like I'm out here not doing anything. You know, there's only so much one guy can do. And honestly, if it weren't for Julie Brown and the Miami Herald, this thing would not be nearly as big as it was. So, I mean, I'll take credit for whatever, but just what, you know, they have done is, has been immense in all of this. So the, I don't know what to tell you, man, the FBI blows off. Um, it's just kind of a weird term to use, but the FBI ignores the victims of sex trafficking. And that's, again, in the emails. You can see these girls, women, I guess, at the time, reaching out to the FBI, begging them. Uh, Dershowitz is in a defamation lawsuit against, I think, Roberts. I think against Virginia Roberts. But So he claims that he had no involvement and that they're lying, and then he sued them for defamation, or they sued him, um, one or the other. Um, I, I, haven't really, uh, I haven't really kept track of that. And, but I do know that, and, and, you know, Jelaine Maxwell's deposition is not in this file, which I don't know if that would be because it would prejudice. Maybe will Chamberlain have an opinion on this or any of the lawyers watching. So Jelaine Maxwell's deposition is not in this. Maybe it would prejudice her, her criminal case. That's the only thing that I can think of, right? Why, um, you know, why? Why wasn't her deposition included in these materials? Uh, I don't really know about that. I, I could just think that because there's a pending criminal case, then, then um, they don't want to use it. I don't know. I don't understand, actually. They're, um, so whatever. We don't have Jelaine Maxwell's uh, depositions, and I don't know, but... We're going we're gonna to go see, and a lot of people say maybe Trump was involved or whatever. My answer to that is, okay, we'll see. You know, I don't know um, who the names are that are redacted. I do know that Bill Clinton is named in the documents for a fact. I do know that Dershowitz's names are in there for a fact. I do know that Bill Mitchell, not Bill Mitchell, I'm sorry, Bill. Bill uh, Richardson, the libertarian, not MAGA Bill. We love MAGA Bill. Sorry, Bill. I, I, your name must have been embedded in my unconscious. Bill Richardson the uh, the governor, not Bill Mitchell, the MAGA guy who people like, and he's a fun guy and everything like that. God, what a slip. Anyway, I'm sorry, Bill. I don't apologize much, but that was a weird, uh, weird slip of the tongue. But Bill Richardson, the governor, or, or former libertarian guy, uh, is listed. Dershowitz, some financiers, some yeah. But it's not Bill Mitchell's a good guy. We're not, you know, we're not, we're not, we're not saying anything like that, and. So some people are saying that the redactions are out. So I'm going to go and try to find out if the redacted names are indeed out. And if so, we'll see where the evidence falls. Um, thanks for watching. Is he a Democrat? Okay, so Bill Richardson. Yeah, I don't, I'm, I'm a newbie to politics. I don't know who um, a lot of these people are. I'm reading, uh, you know, I'm definitely, you know, the th oh, another thing too I wanted to mention before we go is that in – uh, and, and the deposition, right? And the deposition from uh, Roberts, she um, she says that she was trafficked 
all around the world, London, Paris, New Mexico, the island. And for some reason, she, um, for some reason, she, um, the, the feds didn't initially charge an SDNY of the Man Act stuff, right? So the, the mystery remains. Why is it that when a victim testifies to have been trafficked all around the world and all around the country, the, the only charges brought are a very narrow subset of charges that gave enough people to, um, to enough people to clean up, mop up Epstein Island. So I, that the way that the initial charge in SDNY was filed uh, does not sit well with me. Um, it's very, 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 um, how do you say, very shady to me. It never felt good to me. It never felt right to me as a lawyer. And I don't understand. Well, I mean, I, I do understand um, it, because it was a containment operation. The SDNY action, as initially filed, it gave them, them being the intelligence agencies, the whoever, the puppet masters, um, it gave them time to go to the island and destroy evidence. So we, we know why the SDNY case under Berman, who has been removed from SDNY, we know why that, that was a mop-up operation, that was a containment operation. That gave everybody enough time to go to the New Mexico place and destroy evidence, to go to Pedophile Island and destroy evidence, while looking like you're doing something right. So you're, you're looking like, oh, we're going after, you know, we're going after Epstein and we're, we're taking him down. And then a lawyer reads the indictment and says, hmm, not really. Um, not really. Uh, this is um, particularly uh, not very, not very strong. And you're just like, no, no, th this is not a very strong case. Why did you, why did you do that? And I mean, the answer is the containment. The FBI ignored the victim's containment operation. We'll see, you know, we're going to see tonight, orange man bad, because people are saying Trump was implicated. It's like, okay, well, look, we'll see if he's in the files. Um, Bill Clinton is named, though. So if you want to play that game, it's like Bill Clinton's named and they're claiming, you know, Trump, Trump is somehow connected too. and I don't know, my friends, we will see, but we'll keep going and we'll keep digging. And thanks for the support. You can go to Cernovich.com forward slash Epstein, C-E-R-N-O-V-I-C-H forward slash E-P-S-T-E-I-N. I'll be up, updating and uploading more documents and getting more uh, information out there in real time.